What's up, YouTube? Welcome to a Hearts of Iron 4 time lapse. A little bit different. We usually do the EU4 ones, but I like mixing stuff in, and I myself am a big fan of Hearts of Iron 4 time lapses, so I thought we'd work some of these in here and add in the commentary. I've done some in the past, but we've never done it with the commentary. So we're going to play this time lapse. I'm going to see what happens as we go. And basically, the setup for this video was take the Soviet Union, give them max technology, and see what happens if they go to war with the entire world they are at war at the start with every single country but they have that tech buff and with that let's take a look at super soviets versus the world early on we've got some push from japan into the eastern siberia region but actually not a huge amount of push sort of elsewhere we've got some from turkey mongolia was trying Xinjiang. iran was trying but not a whole lot. We've got the Crimean region. It looks like there's some stuff going on there, but Finland has almost fallen. Italy appears to be at war with the United Kingdom. That seems controversial given that the Soviet Union is kind of the big bad guy. I don't know why you would go to war with other people when you could just, I don't know, all work together. Germany is also going, yeah. So basically at this point in 1937, it appears that World War II has broken out. And the result of that is going to just be the Soviet Union being able to eat everyone. That is Soviet-controlled France. That is, they, they must have fallen somehow. They became part of the Soviet Union. And the German Reich and Italy are trying to push them. But now they actually find themselves fighting a two-front war in 1937. The Asian front hasn't really moved a whole lot and it appears that in the Americas, there's a civil war going on in Mexico. And then the United States might have just put down either an invasion or a civil war. Not 100% certain exactly what went on there. The British Raj is currently fighting a civil war in India. Once again, all of these civil wars and everything just don't seem like very smart ideas. The German Reich also is so close to dying and it is only 1938. The rest of the world isn't even close to being caught up to this super tech Soviet Union that we've created, who is now starting to push into Africa. And they're pushing down, we can see them pushing down the coast of Italy right now. That is going to be huge for them if they can cause Italy to fall, because Italy is going to be a huge part of Africa. Now, something interesting here, I don't know if they're at war with Carlos Spain, because of the fact that the Carlos Spain is a result of the civil war and therefore in them winning they actually wouldn't be at war with the soviet union instead the original spain would have been the one at war with the soviet union in asia we see that china has fallen the soviet union is now pushing into korea and they're going to start noticing as these borders get smaller i would only imagine the soviet push will get stronger because of the fact that they're not going to be spread out nearly as much. Is that Switzerland? I do believe that Switzerland decided to sit this one out or piece this one out because they should have been at war with the Soviet Union. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Now is where we start getting to some of the more interesting aspects of the timeline. Because they've got a lot of oceans that they've got across. Are they going to be? We, that's a civil war. They are taking out Swi uh, Switzerland right now. That is a civil war. And that's where we look at it. Is this something that we can see some advantage taken? Can the French push back? Can the British push back? That's not a huge civil war. And it looks like it's already starting to collapse. But that really was the rest of the world's opportunity. That was their moment. And it does not appear that they took advantage. It is... 1939 i mean we're getting right around towards the start of the historical world war ii and the soviet union controls large chunks of the world it also appears that that new indian state that might be something that popped out and allied with the soviet union as well as you know we, we noted with spain they clearly are on good terms with the soviet union I actually think there's a little bit of Switzerland. There it goes. It just went. There was a little bit of Switzerland that held out for like a year after the rest of Europe fell. So Soviet Union is going to keep pushing into Africa here. And are they going to be able to make the naval invasions? They've got Japan to deal with. They've got England to deal with. And then they've got the Americas to deal with. Everywhere that they have gone now, they can go via land. 
I don't know. I mean, they do have the tech boost, but we're starting to get a little bit closer where they're starting to get a little bit more development in the technology of the rest of the countries. Are they going to be able to navally take out Australia and Japan and England and the United States? And so far, I'm not really seeing anything yet. I'm not seeing that naval invasion that they're going to need to if they want to complete this world conquest, this Soviets versus the world. Either they're building up, either they're attempting and failing. I'm not 100% certain what the AI, they just took Greenland. The Soviet Union just took Greenland. That is not a good sign for the rest of the world. Because if they can take Greenland, that worries me that they might be able to take that they have some sort of a naval force. They have some ability to commit naval invasion. And this is like, this is peace right now. There is a temporary lull in the fighting as the Soviets control Europe and Asia and Africa. And we have had quite some time of peace. We're talking like a year of peace. Are they going to war with, it looked for a second like they might have been going to war with Spain with that little bit popping out in Portugal, but I don't know if they are truly going to war with Spain. Now, some of the countries also, like, I don't know if they're at war with Australia. If Australia popped out, I would have put them at war with whatever country was aligned to Great Britain, but if, like, there was a civil war and we missed it, I'm not 100% certain. But we're starting to get pretty far. I mean, we're into 1943, and the Soviets still have not invaded the Americas. This is, and they do appear to be at war with Spain because they are starting to take territory from them in Africa. But by this point, they've only got two, maybe three years worth of tech advantages on the rest of the world. Other than that, I mean, now we're down to, they've got what, one year of tech advantages on the rest of the world? I don't know. Oh, we've got a landing. We have got Soviet troops in South America. They, they landed in one of the smaller countries. We've got Soviet troops. Oh, Great Britain has fallen. Great Britain has fallen. Indonesia has fallen. South America is being invaded. Canada is being invaded. North America, New England has fallen. Oh my goodness. They spent years building up. And in a matter of months, the Soviet Union has taken the world wow that was crazy that was like three years of nothing happening and then they hit with absolutely everything and so what we have here is basically the common turn controlling everything but for some reason sweden is still in the allies so i don't i can't explain that but they are clearly the dominant power in the world and so with that this is something new that i'm trying in hoi 4 it's a little bit harder to do a time lapse with commentary because i have to record it in 10 hour increments because my editing software only accepts 10 hours of clips and then i put all those 10 hours of clips and i shorten them down and i create a time lapse video which i then have to play and record my audio over the time lapse video and then edit that into a finalized project. So these are definitely raw. This is definitely something new that I'm trying to sort of figure out how we're gonna work. But leave a comment down below if you like this, and if you wanna see more of these Hoi4 time-lapse videos. As I said, I'm a huge fan of them, and I would love to add them to sort of this wreath production time-lapses that we've got going on here on the channel. Make sure to leave a comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wreath out.